What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today I have an unboxing and we're gonna set this camera up and I'm gonna give you guys a full review but this is today we're just doing an unboxing. This is the V6S dash cam from OpVCam. Now I've been excited about this. There's a couple of dash cam companies that have hit me up but I was excited about this because this thing actually films in native 4k. See that right there? Native 4K, not like upscaled 4K, fake 4K, actual 4K. I didn't know that there was a bunch of companies that were literally just upscaling the file and then saying that they had a 4K camera, but it was really just a 720 camera and they were upscaling the footage and then you would get artifacts and all this weird stuff in it. So we're going to take this one. Completely butt naked. Alright, we got the camera right here. We're going to get this thing out of the box. Alright. Nice box. I have to say, very nice box. Good packaging. We got the camera right here. Let's take the camera out and take a look at it. it smells like plastic. UHD 2160 and it does Wi-Fi so I'm not seeing does this okay it does have an SD card slot so I can put an SD card in there I'm gonna have to do that unless it will record to like a phone or something natively all right bet so this is the camera itself so this would basically mount to oh dope I could literally mount it to the mirror kind of dope it's got the little 3M tape right here. So this is kind of dope. I could also mount it on my dash like so as a dash cam. <laughs> I could stick it to the window. I could stick it to a bunch of different things, which I think is kind of cool. We'll see what's going on with that. But let's look and see what else we got in the box. Love the presentation of the box. The box is actually really nice. I'm not going to front. All right, we got another big box inside the little box, which I'm sure is... All the cables and attachments and whatnot so let's open this up thank you for not taping everything up man this company has their stuff together with that uh oh screen protectors interesting and they're cut to i'm guessing they're cut to fit screen protectors yep cut to fit so you can cut these and have like three or four of these. I don't know why you would need a screen protector for a dash cam, but nice touch. Plastic tool to remove stuff. I don't want to know what that's about. Ah, I think I know what that's about now. I think I'm getting it. So they have a... Uh, so they have one where it will go... So you have one that goes through the cigarette lighter, which I think I like more. And then you have one that you can plug directly into the fuse box and the ground, which will allow you to set it up for, like if you log into the car or something, you can open the camera up. And I guess you could theoretically see something via Wi-Fi from your house or something maybe. I don't know, but I don't think I'll use this one here at all. Not my thing to be adding stuff to my fuse box and whatnot. We got some more clips. And stuff here oh cable management I love that you see that right there these little clips with the little 3m so you, you you can put your cable up under the dash and run it wherever you want and these little things will hold the cable up instead of you having to figure out a way to I like that cable management good touch nice touch off the cam I love that little little business card right here cool and then the uh, owner's manual cool well, we don't ever read the instructions because the instructions are for, you know, not men. Um, so we're going to, you know, just not read the instructions. Or we're going to act like normal men and just figure it out. Um, someone's going to laugh at that. Some people are going to get offended. And I don't care. All right. Let's put this here. Put the, uh, oh, crap. I still have this little pry tool. Let me put this back in its box. Nice touch, though, on the pry tool. I'm sure I can use this pry tool for something else in the future for sure but let's go ahead and put that back 
plastic pry tool, I will definitely save that and probably move that to my toolbox because with all of the mods and stuff that are about to go down on this car, I have lots of plastic to remove. So I became, I appreciate that. That's a good look. Now the thing with this is you don't have a suction cup. So you literally are going to stick this wherever the hell it's going to live. And I'm guessing, do I let it live on the mirror? Or like up here? Or where do I, on the glass? Because then it's kind of in the effing way. And then what if I break my windshield? Crap, I don't know where I want to put the damn thing. We'll figure it out. But anywho's, quick unboxing. I'm going to put this thing together and then we will, uh, where is the, okay, there's the charging thing. So it would come in from the bottom, USB and the AV. All right, so it would go, maybe I can put it like this and stick it on top of the iDrive or something. We'll figure it out. But anyways, shout out to OptiCam for sending this out to me. I will put their links in the description down below if you want to pick one of these up. Stay tuned for the full review. The full review is coming soon on this camera, and I will let you guys know what I think about it. Um, I actually got a bunch of dash cams in, but this is the first one we're taking a look at. So um, stay tuned. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. You know, I got to change it up every once in a while. I'll do a little bit stuff and, and product reviews. I love that, especially automotive stuff. Me coming from the tech world that used to just do phones and stuff all the time to do this kind of stuff that's automotive related. Love it. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys very soon on the next one. Peace.